Odyssey Podcast. How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? Well, there's no one asking me how it's going. Okay, so why should I be asking you? Okay? Tough day. Well, it's actually going pretty damn good. Um, you know, LSU fans worried, 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 worried. There's no coaches. People are going to leave. What the hell is Brian Kelly doing? He's getting rid of all the big names, all that. Um, well, it turns out a lot of those complainers um, have been retired in little, little more than 24 hours. Um, you know, not only first up, Matt House comes in as defensive coordinator, highly touted, going to be great. He leads a Kansas City defense that is both top five in turnovers and points per game, just, just allowing barely over 20 points per game. 28 created turnovers this season. And remember, he was the linebacker's coach when uh, Daniel Sorensen had a breakout playoffs with like a pick six from the linebacker position. He was just making all sorts of plays. And don't forget, uh, Matt House's linebackers turned that Super Bowl around and gave Pat Mahomes a chance to win that game. It may have been Tyron Matthews' words, you know, keeping the guys going. It may have been his leadership. But it was those linebackers who delivered a chance for that play from Tyreek Hill, that jump ball, that crazy miracle play to even happen. Now, um, wow, this Jeep is actually going slower than this truck. Unbelievable. I didn't think I'd ever seen such a thing. But, you know, and now we've got news of, you know, Robert Steeples coming in to be the second DB coach. Combining alongside Kerry Cooks there. And it uh, looks like those two are going to be performing as an axis of DBU evil. And uh, I'm, I'm excited to have Steeples in because when you watch Steeples coaching, he is just, he is a badass, okay? He is a hard-nosed dude, and he's uplifting as well. Now, I've got something I've got to say that is just right on my chest, right? I just I just got to feel this, okay? And trust me, I have the chest to say this comment to, and to get this comment off my chest. Um, okay. I'm going to say this. LSU, you know, I think Brian Kelly... Just, I don't. I'm not going to discount anything, any of the achievements, accomplishments, or 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 the people these guys were. But I feel like Brian Kelly just got rid of a bunch of names at LSU, a bunch of highly touted names, high-profile names, guys who've been desired, wanted by other teams for years upon years guys who come in with a lot of pedigree, all that, I feel like he replaced those names with coaches. Just good old-fashioned kick-ass coaches, okay? That's not, that's, I'm not discounting anything anyone did. That's not discounting that, you know, Corey Raymond's probably the best DBs coach in America at the college football level. Like, probably no doubt. But at the same time, the scenario had become far, far more relaxed, far too uh, loose than it should have been. And LSU's defense, especially in the secondary, before LSU's turnaround in the back half of the season, um, you know, even when we just had Derek Stingley Jr. and Eli Ricks, the two best corners in America, supposedly, um, we were allowing some big plays, some big-time plays. They weren't always on Stingley. They weren't always on Ricks. Hardly ever on either of those guys, but you also saw Stingley getting picked on randomly at times. You didn't see any adjustments to, to help him. You saw every nickel LSU ever LSU ever put out there absolutely get 
completely demolished, completely demoralized. Did Corey Raymond's uh, DBU legacy perhaps kind of start waning at the end there? <laughs> the statistics say yes. The recruiting prowess also says slightly yes. I mean... It, we were starting to lose some guys that we had no business losing. Denver Harris, with with his connections, familial connections with, with one of the most bad-ass LSU Tigers ever. Tack is his uncle. And still he chose A&M. A&M. Like A and M is the is the one rival LSU fans just just cannot, will not, should not respect. And so that was shocking, and we lost that guy to, to that team. What? I feel like Brian Kelly replaced names with coaches. You know, I'm not. I'm, I I I know I'm going to be in rough water saying this. And I know it's not probably not the right time to say this. But there were absolute absolute rumors that Kevin Falk couldn't really coach the running backs as well as Tommy Robinson from AM, who who left LSU to go to AM after the 2019 season. There had been rumors that Kevin Falk was too inexperienced in his running backs role, and I've heard that from parents of Tigers who are in the running back room. Okay, I'm like, I don't think he was ready for the role. I think Coach O wanted his recruiting prowess out there, and I think we could have had the best of both worlds when you have Kevin Falk and Frank Wilson together. I think that could have been the greatest running back, running back in coaches in LSU history. But it wasn't to be. It seemed like we were only going to have one or the other there. I just feel like there's uh, there's a lot of uh, interesting dynamics that went on, and I think while we all got caught up in the names that were being let go, we need to understand the coaches who are coming in and their own pedigree. And while maybe a lot of them don't have those rings on their fingers... Matt House has a Super Bowl, though. Um, And maybe they're not all household names. That's fine. That's okay. I think LSU needs something different than pedigree and uh, being, you know, a celebrity type of thing. I think LSU need old-fashioned, hard-nosed football. And, you know, (laughs) finally, of course, it's not news. I don't know why it's being celebrated today like it's news. Keishon Butte reaffirms his commitment. Okay? He says, I'm locked in. All, we're, we're doing this. Tiger, well, you know, he's already said this. Okay? I, I really, I, I hate to be annoyed by this, but I, but I am. You know, this kid was almost pushed out. I don't think anything could have pushed him out. But just think about it. How, how bad this could have become. Had there not been LSU reporters like me, like Jordy Collada, well, I guess LSU talk show like Jordy Collada's show, you know, constantly saying, "Hey, we're going to make sure with all these stupid rumors, we're going to we're going to answer those questions for the fans day by day." If it has to be five different quotes, if it has to be five different posts, if I have to write a, a five thousand page, five thousand word article, I don't care. We're going to get this point across. Keishon Butte is going nowhere. Keishon Booty is going nowhere. And, you know, it just goes to show. Have faith in the Louisiana men. Have faith in the young Tigers we have on this roster. Okay? When, when, when one of them says, I'm, I'm staying at LSU, until he is in the portal, until he is gone, Take them for their word. 
I don't care what Eli Ricks' parents said. I don't care what Shauna Ricks said. You also got to factor in who Shauna Ricks was talking to. She was talking to Brody Miller. Okay? I don't think she had a, I don't think she batted an eyelash at lying to Brody Miller. Okay? You've got to question and keep in mind the source. And you know, it wasn't too long ago Brody Miller reported that, you know, Coach Ed Orgeron hit on the pregnant wife of an athletic administrator, okay? And then had to retract immediately after that made national tabloid news that no, she wasn't pregnant. I mean, how embarrassing. How embarrassing. So I'm just... Question the source. I love Brody. I think he's a badass. But at the same time, it has to be accurate. It has to be correct. And we need to hold people accountable when they're wrong. Hold me accountable when I'm wrong. I know you have. But there's a lot of people out there who are just putting out bullshit. And this W. Keith Friedman, who put out that Butte going to Bama bullshit two weeks ago that we shut the fuck down is the absolute worst of them. Okay? Just, just, just understand there are many layers to LSU. You can be excited, you can be worried, and you can be concerned all at the same time, can't you? But at the same time, I just feel excited. Okay? I just feel excited. And you should be too.